So if you see your name with the title Mr or Mrs or they use our name in uppercase, this is back to Admiralty Law. The legal fiction is an abstract term to explain a concept and so is the term straw man. With debt collectors, um, people assume when a debt collector comes round that uh, they have actual power. They don't. They have no power whatsoever. They only have the power that you give to them. 90% of the crime or 99% of the crime they perceive that is crime is actually called victimless crime. There is no victims and crime can only exist if there is a victim. You know, we've seen police officers more interested in becoming debt collectors and enforcing policies, you know, such as speeding tickets and, and fines and things like that, because they're easy targets. Once you comprehend the difference between lawful and legal, and ultimately what your legal fiction um, straw man is, the fear of debt collectors, police and authority just goes away. Here we are uh, in this country, the home of most Western law really, um, in terms of what's executed in America and things like that, its roots are in British law. So you've literally got uh, tens of thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of laws, which every day, you know, we could be breaking without knowing. We think we're free. We think we've got free choice. If you get, if you get um, the average man or woman walking the street and you say to them, the law says this, you must do this, they will do it. They will just comply. We're enforcing policies, uh, acts and statutes, which when looked into are not actually necessarily lawful. Uh, lawful is according to the law, and law is um, don't cause injury, harm or loss to uh, people or their property. Legal um, pertains to um, our legal system and where statutes and acts come from and it's a system that doesn't actually relate to common laws. A Black's Law Dictionary states that a statute is a legislative rule of a society given the force of law by those who consent. One of the precepts that they work on is um, a legal maxim which is let he who would be deceived be deceived. Funny enough, you look at the bottom of the birth certificates, most of it say warning, this is not a means of identification. So it's actually telling you it has nothing to do with you whatsoever. It's just a legal mechanism to maintain that they know what slave they're dealing with at that point of time, because you're a thing to them, you're an inferior. And that is pretty much their attitude. You have to have a system that no one understands in order to enslave people. The courts and uh, the, the police, and the, the government, are all corporations, and they're working together against us. What's happened for us in this country is that now, Public is considered governance, private is business, and the people are nothing. They don't exist, they have no power or meaning. They are the ones to be bullied and trodden upon because they're just the little businesses. It's, you realise that the whole thing is a charade and it's like smoke and mirrors. It's, it, you, you can see the whole, the whole trick now, you know, the whole... Is it, when, 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 you, when you have that aha moment, it's like <laughs> staggering, you know?